fiancé cheated on me with her friend. I really just need to tell my story to somebody other than my therapist, and I'm too ashamed to divulge the details to my closest friends or family. I've known my ex-fiancé for 11 years. We dated on and off the first five years. While I was active duty military and we had been together for the last six years, at the point of my end of active service, she showed interest in joining a branch of service, and I supported the decision I made sure she was prepared. We were planning on buying a house after she enlisted and settled in a bit, so I started to go through our finances, got us out of all outstanding debt, and worked on raising our credit scores to perfect. During that time, I also purchased a brand new car for her cash, as we were planning on starting a family this year, a month into her being at her unit. She really started talking about marriage more frequently, so I decided to talk to her about setting a date. We did and told friends and family to be prepared for the RSVP in the mail. A month later, I get a FaceTime call from her hanging out with some friends, two married couples, and three other singular friends to MOSTF. I had met all these people before I was at my friend's house, a couple she was stationed about a 13-hour drive from me, and I was supposed to move there that month already got a transfer from my job at some point during the call while she was walking around having me greet everybody. One of the single males grabbed, hugged her rather inappropriately while greeting me. My friends also saw embarrassing. They waited until the call ended and asked if I had seen anything strange. I replied, yes, I saw a few days later. I drove up to move some stuff. I picked up her phone to make a call. As it was within arm's length, the password was changed, and for the first time in six years, it was set to do not disturb. At first I ignored it, as I thought I was probably just in my head about everything. When I did ask later that night, she got extremely defensive. I was not confrontational. There were a lot of other small signs that something was off. We had his time that night, I think we were... Both unaware that she was already pregnant for the guy the next day, I told her that there are a lot of things to work through before we get married. And suggested therapy did not go well, I packed the stuff I had brought and went home. I felt disgusted the whole time. I was there for some reason and decided to just end it. She found out she was pregnant that same month and got married to the guy the month after to save face. I guess, haha, we were not trying for a baby and took proper precautions, she did however have unprotected as time with the guy that night of the FaceTime call and blamed alcohol. Laughable, I warned her on multiple occasions about how easy infidelity is to stumble across in the military if you don't keep it together. She kept calling me, saying I made the worst mistake of my life when she would be on duty at work, at 2-3 a.m., away from her husband. I blocked her from contacting me everywhere possible. It has been a year, and I finally have my life back together. I am still working on my mental health. All that, along with PTSD, severe anxiety, and depression has been a challenge. But I have come a long way. I am stable, sober, and happy. I have lived through six good friends from the military, taking their own lives over the past three years, and I could never have anyone feel the way I feel. I'm just happy. I didn't get to a point where I considered that an option. If you read this, thank you for allowing me to release I needed to share somewhere. Sorry for the choppy timeline, it's already a lot. Ha, huh, didn't want to make it even longer. Redditor's reactions. Redditor 1. Sorry, this happened to you, bro. No person is worth ending your life over. Especially when that person is a disloyal cheater, move on and rejoice in the fact that you didn't marry and have children with her and was able to just walk away. Oh, and I hope you got the car you paid cash for her back. Redditor 2 How did you find out if she had changed her passcodes, etc.? Up answer. No. Even if I did get the code somehow, I wouldn't have went through her phone. She took it off. Do not disturb. After I asked about it that night, forgot to turn. It back on, I guess it was sitting next to me, a message popped up from the dude, or you with your man at about midnight. I didn't say anything the next day. I just told her I needed some time left a week later. I get a message request on IG from a female friend of hers in the military that I met previously. She told me all kinds of stories about this girl said she didn't feel comfortable about me being friends with her. 
Well, yes, she did sleep around a lot, but she also knew about her infidelity, as she told me about them having sex at least three times, also explained why she thinks she's pregnant at that moment. I knew without question, Reddit or three, damn, you've crawled through three football fields of acid and came out clean on the other side. I understand there are still valleys to navigate and serious trust issues to overcome. But a few years from now, if you ever run into that girl again, she'll look like a shell of herself. And nothing you remembered, and the other victim besides yourself, is that poor affair baby that is destined to end up with miserable parents keep forging forward in your life and do the work you need to heal and be happy again, Redditor. You have nothing to be ashamed about. This does not reflect on you at all. You were doing the right things while your ex-fiancé was destroying everything behind your back. She is now left to deal with her mess and you are free to move on with your life while holding your head high. Good on you for blocking her attempts to cheat on her. Now, husband, by contacting you, that shows that you have both integrity and self-respect. Keep moving forward with your purpose so that you will be ready and able to distinguish between things that are high value and things that are low value. When you encounter them in the future, you have got this Redditor 5. Sorry for your situation, friend. You are never at fault, and I don't want you to take this as blame. But there's a big takeaway here. Trust your gut. The difference between walking away when you felt something was up and staying until the inevitable blow-up is loving yourself enough to protect your mental and emotional well-being versus holding on to hope. Even against good sense, that thing will magically be okay. Because you love them going forward, trust yourself. Part of all relationships is understanding good relationships can end unwanted and bad ones should be ended with intent. You'll heal, bro. Focus on you and your growth. I read elsewhere. You are resolved to cut contact. Good call, Redditor 6. Keep your chin up and keep moving forward. Celebrate the small steps. Even having the courage to come forward and post your story is a victory in itself. Happy Thanksgiving. And be thankful that you are not with that dumpster fire of an Axe Redditor 7. In really lost for words, didn't really have much of an idea what I was getting into here. I just saw a post that I connected with and decided to share. You all are awesome. Ha <laughs> ha. Thank you for the well wishes and I hope for the best for you all. Redditor 8. Vendetta Actual, I'm sorry for what you had to go through. Your ex treated you badly and you deserved better than that. It sounds like you're still hurting deeply. Some wounds never heal completely. But with time, the pain fades. Please don't get stuck. Move on. Find something in your life that brings you joy. People say that happiness is a choice. I don't think that's 100% true. You can't always just decide to be happy in the face of traumatic suffering. But there's a lot of truth in it. Happiness is a perspective. It's an attitude. It's a way of responding to life. Bad things happen but there is so much beauty and goodness all around us. Best of luck to you, Redditor9. There is a silver lining in all of this that is, you didn't marry this woman, it could have been a lot worse, Redditor10. I made the worst mistake of my life. There are consequences for one's decisions, actions, this is hers. Thank you for your service and best of everything for you going forward. Redditor11. I'm sorry it happened to you, but I'm glad it happened before you married. I'm glad you found out. Before she tried to make you this kid's father, I wish you the best in life. You seem like a good guy, and hopefully you will one day meet someone that loves and respects you. Redditor 12 Do take that as a blessing in the skies. That's how you have to look at it. Thank goodness you did not marry her. Thank goodness to a point you have witnesses to her funniness and that FaceTime call and thank goodness you trusted your gut. You will be okay. Continue on your healing journey. There is plenty more girls out there waiting for you. You just need to get yourself more together first. And guess what? The girl that's waiting for you to love you for you and appreciate you for you and appreciate what you bring to the table is waiting for you. Now that better days, I can't wait for you. They're right on the horizon. It's just up to you to take that leap and allow them to come in. 
Keep us updated on your journey and how you're doing. Okay, Redditor13. She's his problem now. You got the gift of a clean break and didn't waste it. Keep trusting your gut going forward and look into reading no more. Mr. Nice Guy, if you haven't already, it'll help you avoid this in the future.